In my struggle with infertility and depression, I identified myself as being both those things. I kind of felt like Eeyore all the time, like walking around like I should almost introduce myself as both of these things, like, hey, I'm the infertile girl, hi, I'm depressed, nice to meet you. Like I identified as being both these things so much so that with my infertility and depression, they became so much of who I was that they actually became who I was. For those that don't know me, my name is Shannon Wooten. I am a lifestyle and fertility specialist, and I help women who feel disconnected from their bodies heal by owning, infertility sucks, you don't. All week long, we have been discussing identifying with feelings of negative self-talk and how damaging they can be to you. So for me, I became so weighed down by my own negative self-talk that everything in my life became about it. Everything in my life became negative. I felt heavy all the time. I felt tired all the time. And I felt alone a lot of the time until I got tired of feeling all those ways. I got tired of being tired. And when I tell people this, they often ask me, you know, well, okay, so if I'm tired of being tired, where do I begin? How will I know that now is a good place to start? Or where am I going? I'm, I'm so used to feeling like I'm in this struggle of infertility. You know, what's my direction? What's my focus then? Or who will I become? Who am I if I'm not depressed? Who am I if I'm not in this struggle? Well, first things first, where do you begin? You begin right now, girl. We know when we are ready to change. We, we know when we're amped up about something. We know when we're excited about something. We know when we feel like in our gut, in our heart of hearts, that this is the right thing to do. This is the place I should be in, and we move forward. So for just as much as we know when we're ready to do something, we also know we're ready to make change. We also know we're ready to stop. We also know, like I said, when we are tired, of being tired and there is no good place to start and because of that there is no invitation coming for you to start to make a change healing begins when you decide when you decide you're ready when you decide I'm tired of feeling heavy I'm tired of feeling alone I'm tired of feeling tired that's usually an indication that you're ready to make a change so if you have an idea in your mind that you know what I don't feel like myself. I'm, I'm not comfortable with the way I feel. I want to feel different. That's probably a red flare, like a shot across the bow. Like, <sighs> now is the time. Start now. Next, where are you going? Your direction and your focus is whatever you want it to be. So I know for me, in our struggle with infertility, I was so depressed and, and so alone that I, I felt disconnected from my body. I didn't associate with my femininity or my sexuality anymore. But on top of that, I lost all sense of confidence. Again, I know I've said this before in other videos, I don't know how it happened, but somehow through my struggle with infertility, I felt like I got dumber. Like I, I, I wasn't able to make decisions for myself. I, I wasn't, you know, prepared or well, uh, you know, aware of myself enough to make my own decisions. I lacked confidence. I lacked strength. So if you know what you don't like being anymore, you, you, you also know what your direction and your focus is going to be. So if you feel like you want to be genuinely happy again, strong again, confident again, motivated again, make that your direction, make that your focus. Think of how you felt at your happiest and your strongest in your life and shoot for that. You do not need to reinvent the wheel here. You do not need to feel like, who do I wanna be tomorrow? I don't wanna be Princess Diana. You have no idea what it's like to be Princess Diana. Don't shoot for that. Shoot for the things that you know. You know what it's like to feel negative, right? You know what it's like to feel depressed, but you also probably have a really good idea of what you felt like at your happiest, how you felt at your most confident and your strongest. Shoot for that. Grow to positive feelings that you know. Keep it simple on yourself. Don't reinvent the wheel. And lastly, what will you become? Well, you are not your struggle. Even though, like I said, I felt like Eeyore every day. Like I just was moseying along. Almost like life was in slow freaking motion. And I wanted to shake myself. I felt like two people. Like there was this part of me that was just urging to snap out of it. And this other part of me that was like, I can't. I just can't like I was shackled 
to the negativity, the negative self-talk, the depressive self-talk, and the repetition of it all. So when thinking about how to evolve, it is common for us to feel like we don't know how to because we almost feel like we don't know who we are anymore. If you feel like you're identifying, my nose is itchy, sorry, to more about being depressed and more being negative, but you desperately want to get to that positive side, it's not uncommon to feel scared to take that first step. Because if you're so used to being depressed, we kind of sometimes feel frozen, like I said, shackled, almost as if we can't move on from ourselves. We can't become more positive. We can't become that strong, confident, motivated person that we do want to be. So try thinking of a moment in your life where growth becomes an opportunity. Start thinking of it instead of, I don't know how to get there. I don't know what my jumping off point is. Fine, accept that and say, this is a blank canvas. This is an opportunity for growth. And this is my chance to grow into a version of myself that feels right. Instead of being stuck in the mire of, like I said, that Eeyore position, heavy and weighed down, like you're two separate versions of yourself and you're, you're stuck in this negative self, Think of your positive self as I can become whoever I need to be. I can grow from feelings that I'm aware of and I can start right now. Ultimately, negative self-talk is a, something that can impact how we feel about ourselves, how we see ourselves, and also a part of ourselves that keeps us stuck. It doesn't allow us to grow. It doesn't allow us to see change as an opportunity that is there anytime we want it. Anytime we say begin, it's waiting for you. That is what changes. And it can also affect who we become. If we're unwilling to you know, remove the shackles from that negative self-talk and, and unwilling to see that right now in this moment is an opportunity for you to say, see ya bye negative self-talk, I don't, I don't fuck with you. Like that's what you, you need to just get to the point where you're ready and now is the moment. And, and take it, heed the opportunity, grow from feelings that you know, and use it as an opportunity to grow into yourself that feels right because you are not your struggle and you can heal those feelings anytime you want. All right, guys, thanks so much for signing on. As always, my heart is already with you. And if you're looking to continue this conversation or have conversations like it, feel free to jump inside. Infertility sucks you don't. Throw me some hearts below if you like this video or shoot me some comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week. Be easy, do good things for yourself, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Bye.